Shalawam or Praise the Hub or Shamil Shai. The one is the past is that great millstone ruling well. Uh, I'm subscribed to this National Ge Geography Wild channel. You know, I like to watch the programs, um, you know, about uh, wildlife and stuff like that now and then. Um, but uh, this this video just popped up on my subscriptions and, um, you know, it just made me think about some scriptures, bro. So I'm going to play it and I'm just going to pretty much just talk on a few scriptures quickly. Because first off, we know the scripture says to be as wise as a serpent, as harmless as a dove, man. You know? Hey, it says, hey, it says neurotoxins and hemotoxins makes this snake highly ve venomous. And then, when you check out, um, when you check out the, the, the men at Great Millstone, man, you know, the word that we've got, man, the, the scripture says it's fire. And the scripture also calls it a double-edged sword. So, we, you know, you, sp spiritually, these people come to try and debate men of great millstone. You, what happens? Your ass gets messed up in the spirit, man. Doesn't the scripture say, like, cuts to the spirit and stuff like that? So, and, uh, so, and I ain't got the scriptures in front of me right now, but I'm just paraphrasing them. And basically, man, that's what happens, man. Like how that venom seeps into your body and you get all messed up. Well, that's what this word does spiritually to people that come up and try and fucking debate us. They get messed up, bro. They get they get messed up in the spirit, man. I mean, you don't want to get bit by one of these um, venomous snakes, you know? Right, it says they use heat seeking pits below their eyes to detect prey. The, hey, the scripture says we're the watchmen. We're the watchmen, man. Now they're using heat seek, and that's the spirit. This, you know what I mean? That's the spirit, man. Like you watch, watch as well as pray. Then you watch and you do a video. Then the spirit, a brother, our brother might be doing videos on the topic, or you both might be, you know, something might be coming up. Like the spirit, is, the Christians are getting it right now. That's all the spirit, man. That's the spirit right there. So and I'm just using an analogy in the video because the scripture says to be wise as serpents and these are just some characteristics of a serpent. And you got different levels to serpents. You got different types of serpents, man. But that's just another thing. Okay. spiritual with them scriptures man precept upon precept line upon line you get these people that might try and come and then we got we got the we got cuts man in the scriptures like these people saying that uh you ain't gonna have sex while well, the scripture says um one man shall be a, a great in the kingdom and one small man shall be a great nation that cuts what he's just said so we got we got the precepts it's like when it just said about the animal striking 10 feet or whatever it just said. That's 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 us with them scriptures, bro. With a flick of their tongue, they can taste the air, man. You, you gotta be in the spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, that's just being in the spirit, man. Praying on rodents, they play a vital role in their natural habitat. <laughs> you know, at the Great Millstone, we are um, rid of um, undesirable cats. People that are teaching lies, man. What does the scripture say? Mark them that cause divisions contrary to the doctrine. <laughs> them, them, them rodents out there, them undesirable rodents, them, them filthy residues. <laughs> okay. Hey, it says, if left alone, there are almost no conflicts with humans. What the, the scripture says, be as harmless as a serpent. 
or be as wise as a serpent, as harmless as a dove. That kind of is like a two edge effect, right? There. There you go. So anyway, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to cover that. Um, and uh, pretty much, you know, uh, th that's it, man. Um, that was my point, you know, tying it in with the scriptures. I was roughly paraphrasing, but that was that's my point, man. Be as wise as serpents, as harmless as doves. With that, I'm going to say um, shalom. Keep pushing.